Mark Zuckerberg will be on the hot seat facing tough questions from both of California's U.S. Senators, Dianne Feinstein and Kamala Harris, and others concerned with privacy. Tech analyst Larry Maggot says Zuckerberg has been getting behind-the-scenes coaching. He also spent today in closed-door meetings with members of Congress to gauge how tough they might be on him. I think he has learned that the way to approach this is with a great deal of humility, to take responsibility, to admit that he's the one who owns the company or runs the company, doesn't own it, and also to try to acknowledge the mistakes that they've made. In prepared testimony for Wednesday's hearing in the House, Zuckerberg's expected to say this about the information of 87 million Facebook users ending up in the hands of Cambridge Analytica for a political campaign. Quote, we didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. It was my mistake, and I'm sorry. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak today joined a small number of people who have decided to abandon Facebook over the security breach. The Woz telling me by phone. Facebook was a good idea, but um, management um, didn't do enough to protect our privacy and they're so not transparent. The social network has more than 2 billion users and is expected to rake in $40 billion in advertising revenue this year. He knows that he's going to be facing regulation. But he wants regulation that he can live with. He wants perhaps greater transparency. I think he's going to live with that. But he doesn't want Congress micromanaging his business. Zuckerberg's testimony is scheduled to begin at 11.15 a.m. Tuesday. His appearance scheduled to last about two hours. In San Jose, David Louie, ABC 7 News.